Hey there. This is Helena and Hak, uh, both candidates on the green list in the Joensu Kuntavaalit, the local elections. Uh, if you don't know, elections are coming up and most likely if you're living here, you are entitled to vote, even if you might not be a Finnish citizen. So please check out the elections and so Helena. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, hello everyone also from my regards and uh, so we have the pre-voting coming up until the 8th of June and then on the 13th June we have the actual voting day and today we thought about discussing that how could we increase the voting percentage in Joensu for these elections because last time the percentage was 52.6% how many people who could vote voted so um, what do you think Huck, how we could um, motivate people to give mm. their vote for these elections I, I think that there is like I personally I know a couple of people who do not go to vote because uh, they do not believe in the political system so much and that's fair enough uh, anyhow, as a citizen, and if you get an invitation uh, to, to vote, then you are somehow part of the voting system anyway. So even if you do not believe in the system, at least go to vote and maybe give an invalid vote. If you cannot choose a candidate or if you don't think any of the candidate fits to your liking or, or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah I, I must say Huck, I'm a little bit feel different about the invalid voting. Like I really believe that it's better karmically to actually give the vote for someone. Yes. At, at, le at, at least first getting to know the people. But at least go to then, vote. Yeah, at, at least, least go to vote. Yeah, That's the thing. Go to vote. Yeah, going to vote. And if you yeah. want to make a joke with it, then at least get first to know people and uh, consider carefully if there's somebody who is um, meeting your values because everybody's voice counts in these elections. And if you don't know the candidates, one way is to do this kind of a questionnaire that different newspapers or ULE, our general broadcasting company or what it is, are what, making. What YLE, you might know it as YLE. ULE, yeah, yes. yeah. So if you don't know the candidates, that's like one way at least to see like who are matching your values. Mm. And you can also go through the lists of the candidates. Each party has a list of the candidates, so you can go onto the web pages of the local um, parties and check out the candidates there. Yeah, and um, I, at least what I would really like to heal in a way is this feeling that some people who don't vote have that that it doesn't matter if they vote or not. Like I, I find find that um, it's important to be anyway active citizen and um, somehow have this feeling that everybody's existence, everybody's opinion, every everyone's vote matters here because mm. uh, in these councils, com municipality councils, it's anyway where many of the most important decisions are being made and you have of course Huck, been talking beautifully about how everybody's way of life is the most important contribution mm. uh, how we live in this municipality but but uh, anyway what comes to the pl land planning and um, how this town looks like, how are the services provided, what is tax percentage, all this is uh, decided at the at the council. So therefore it's important that we are um, considering who we want to be there to making these decisions. Also especially for us who to whom like nature uh, is greatly at heart that we make sure that this biodiversity and this beautiful nature that we have in Joensu and all its living beings are being protected here. Mm. Like I like if you if you're wondering about the motivation of some politicians or if you're like thinking that like that our political system is so flawed and not able maybe to to make the change that you might feel that we need 
then please be assured that there is a lot of people who are like very motivated um, and, and have no interest even in, in like any of the money that might come with the job of being a politician. Like actually both of the two of us, we are running on a zero euro budget these yeah. elections. And I still today, I don't even know what is being offered for that, uh, for I, that I work. Don't, I don't know either. I don't yeah. know either. It's really yeah. like, it's yeah. really, there's like very good people yeah standing for the votes that yeah. know a lot about what they are talking about yeah. and very ambitious good motivations and yeah. good capabilities not so. only us but also yes. other candidates yeah. like uh, but also us <laughs> yeah, but, yeah but definitely and i actually voted huck just uh, last week because one, one way of uh, uh, offering for me was that i want to build this trust that we all who need to be at the council will be at the council and people vote us if they need to vote us and we don't need to be necessarily voting ourselves but mm. uh, I mean um, I think I think uh, it's important that also our English speaking friends in Joensu are doing what they can to participate on the community life here and uh, also other ways than voting in elections as well, like different ways that uh, the voice is being heard, that how this municipality can be developed. And yeah. we have a lot of good opportunities to develop UN Su together. Yeah. 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 Thank you for your attention for this uh, topic and uh, contact us if you want to discuss further on this. Yes, also if you want to meet, if you want to get to know candidates, your candidates, us, whoever, uh, please contact candidates. Every candidate can be contacted one way or the other and you can get to know us candidates. So please yeah. do not feel uh, any shy to contact us. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye. bye.